Hello and welcome everybody. It's JWitz here back with PokePlay Pokemon Y. I was about to go into Route 5 and I realized I almost made the same mistake that I was so upset about in the last episode and that is not bringing out at least one new Pokemon in Flaveban. So let's go ahead and do that. Meet other players. One thing I really have not figured out, if any of you guys know, um, I've noticed that every once in a while the PSS at the bottom screen will tell you about a new feature and how to do it. Is there any way I can make that stop? Like, I love the new features, don't get me wrong, but if I want to use them, I'll just use them. I know of them now. I keep getting alerts. They're like, oh, you can do a wonder trade, which is awesome too. Maybe I'll show that sometime. But just, you know, after you give me the one thing, you don't have to tell me again. So, uh, organizing boxes, eh? Um, I'll go Flabebe, just since it's a fairy. I actually, oh, you know what? Ooh, um, I totally forgot I have the fairy Azuril and I really want it now. And this is really, well, obviously Azuril's terrible, but Azumarill, on the other hand, completely different. Well, let's go ahead and do that to start. And you know what? Since uh, nobody else on this team really appeals to me, we'll do Flabebe as well. I've already got two other fires. Why get a third? We'll have the two fairy chumps here sit on the back burner, grab some experience. Um, go ahead and move Bulba to the front lines, and we'll have Jiraiya backing up the side. Sounds good to me. Now I'm good to take on Route 5 after I buy some stuff. Let's see. Um, for starters, we've got the new guy on the right. What are your new things? Uh, Bulldoze, Struggle Bug, Swords Dance, Sunny Day, Rain Dance. Um, Swords Dance is incredible for certain Pokemon. Um, you know, Struggle Bug isn't terrible. This new Bulldoze attack, I actually don't know the numbers for, but it's been decent. Um, all solid attacks, but I really can't afford them yet at this point. I do want to sell those mushrooms I got, though, from that chef. So let's go ahead and do that. 15 tiny mushrooms, and woo, I made pretty much back what I spent <laughs> to go to the restaurant. Um, and then as far as buying, figured might as well stock up on balls, because I'm going to try and catch a lot. I currently have two Great Balls. Let's make that 10 more for 12. No Premier Ball with the Great Balls, unfortunately. And grab a few. Oh, definitely want at least a couple escape ropes just in case. Want to get out of a cave. I'll go <laughs> one repel. Is it really worth it? Yeah, we'll go one repel. And I'll just deal with it, with the damage. I shouldn't be taking that much damage. Let's do this. It's route time. All right. So right away, oh, right away, actually, uh, apparently we talked to a Lucario. What's up? Car. Wait, Lucario. Sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Car. Well, it seems Lucario likes you. You think so? See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made it to blah 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 Lucario really likes you. I'm a gym leader, and maybe sometime you can battle me. You can have my Lucario, but not right now. Bye. Alright, so um, right away we see the skate park and my life is complete. Grinding on rails, grabbing free super potions, this is pretty much everything I always wanted in a Pokemon game back in the 90s, but I didn't have it. Instead, I had to play Tony Hawk separately. Weaving through cones, life is good. Um, <laughs> this is, has completely no purpose, but it's just so addicting. Oh, that's not a grindable reel, though. So I'm just looking top and bottom. Oh, and let's catch somebody good. How about somebody good? Would that be okay? Furfru. Well... There is one good thing about Furfru, and it is not Furfru. Um, it is being able to use it as sort of this one Pokemon that um, can be specifically groomed in a shop in Lumios. And the only reason that's... Ooh, that was really bad, man. Um, is Tackle better at this point? It's probably going to be just as bad. Um, his Sand Attacks making him avoid. I should have thrown a Quick Ball to start. 
That was a rookie mistake. Now he's gonna sand attack me to the end of the earth. Oh, man. This is not gonna be good. Uh, anyway, you can groom for a fruit in a special design. Okay, come on, what? Tackle does not have a 45% accuracy. That's it, you're getting the seed. Watch, that. that's gonna miss too after this sand attack. <laughs> nope, leaked seed hits, I'll take it. <sighs> so yeah, the more you do in Lumios, the more, I just call them Lumios points, they don't really have an official name you get. And over time, basically, these Lumio points will uh, help you access certain shops, buy things cheaper, etc. <laughs> the Quick Claw went off for the first time. Didn't matter. My accuracy right now is could not be worse. But it's alright. We've got the Vine Whip going on. Or not the Vine Whip, the uh, Leech Seed. I'm so glad I opened this video by giving you guys one of the worst battles I've ever participated in. Yeah, finally got a hit. Alright, I think he's ready to be captured. I think being seated actually counts as a special condition as well. All right. Um, you know, I'm going to try regular Pokeball. I've got them all. Don't want to waste a great ball on a silly Furfru. One, two, three. Yay. Awesome. You don't get a nickname. I hate you. When I do find the name writer, though, I will change, uh, at the very least, uh, the ones I've got on my team right now. Yes, definitely want to forget for Poison Powder. Goodbye, Grell. Although it's tough to want to use Poison Powder when you've also got Leech Seed. Um, it's cool having- what? Oh, he wants to learn- oh, did he learn two moves at once? I'm so confused. I guess he did. I- I don't- okay, um... This is a tougher choice, actually, because, all right, because I've got Leech Seed doing the damage in between turns, I want Sleep Powder way more than Poison Powder. Um, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to keep Tackle that way I've got it. But um, Sleep Powder is going to be really good for actually catching Pokemon. Really increases your uh, catch ratio higher than any of the other special conditions. So after all of that, these Pokemon were the designated Guardians of the King. Um, not really a very good royal decision, in my opinion. That said, I did not live in ancient Kalos, so maybe I'm not really one to judge. Bring it on, twins. We're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> they look so happy, though. <laughs> oh, man, and now I have to crush your uh, Minin and Plusle. So sorry. My bad. Actually, they're probably going to be really weak. Yeah, otherwise I was going to say Dry, I might want to stick this one out. But for now, um, Whip Away and Water Pulse should be pretty good. Boom! Water Pulse on the blue one. No knockout, but I'll take it. Ooh, Growl's really overpowered. It affects both of your opposing Pokémon in double battles. Oh man, Vine Whip is really, really bad though. Bulba, man, you gotta get your act together. Just gonna quick attack. Not gonna let him see the light of day. You had your ch Oh, that was dumb of me. Well, I guess I uh, <laughs> got a little too greedy. His physical attack is not that high. I think he's a special attacker. Yeah, Tackle and Vine Whip, both unsatisfactory though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Leech Seed, maybe try and heal a little bit in between turns, since I'm not gonna be knocking him out this turn anyway. Down goes Minun. Deku, learn a better move. You learned two moves, and none of them are gonna help me in these early battles. Even Dry gets some level here. Level 19, he's starting to look pretty overpowered. Level 19. Combuskin is so cheap because it keeps getting the boosted experience because it's considered a, uh... Oh, Flower Power! I did give him a nickname. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Combuskin gets the boosted experience because he's considered a traded Pokemon. Oh, he avoided my Leech Seed. Wonderful. So yeah, um, this is pretty much all frog work. I think I'm going to move Fletchling in. Um, that's... Oh, what? I, I thought I pressed him. I pressed him and B at the same time, apparently. Oh, we got the Quick Claw in action! Woo! 
will not matter whatsoever. Go away. So I actually really like leading with Deku when it comes to capturing Pokemon. Oh, takedown! Yay! All right. That was really quick. He learned a bunch of moves very, very quickly. Um, let's see. Takedown, 90. That is a really, really strong physical move to learn um, this early. Like, Tackle is considered decent at 50. Vine Whip is really bad at 45. Um, I I'm going to go ahead and drop Tackle here. And yeah, you do hit yourself. You don't have perfect accuracy, but uh, definitely going to take Takedown. And flower power, grinding them out as a rule, grinding them out. But yeah, um, I don't think there are other double battles in this area, but just in case, gonna go ahead and make that switch out. Have a uh, fletchling up in here. Heck, I could even start fighting with my fairies pretty soon. And if I've got a regular potion, might as well give it a Bulbasaur because I'm gonna be hitting myself whenever I do that attack now. Small potion will do. Exactly. And let's go. Trainer tips. There are some buttons that really come in handy. Yes, you can save things with the Y button. Nothing for me to save right now. Early in the game, I thought the roller skates were an item. They're not. You use the circle pad, you're automatically skating. Then if you switch to the D-pad, you're automatically running. It's just one or the other. So I see an item up over there. Doesn't look like I can get there yet. And we are greeted by another Pokemon menace. The evil miner. All right, um, I can definitely just quick ball him in the face, which I am okay with. Um, somebody give me quick balls, right? Yeah, there we go. Quick ball to the face. I love this. Even like late in the game, I'm catching like level 40 Pokemon just by throwing the quick ball. No, it doesn't work every time, but mining, boom. Save you guys so much time. I'm getting the experience anyway. Um, it's not like if I battle, it's going to give me more. So sick. I wish I could buy them at this point in the game. I really would. Hit cheers on friends. If its friends are losing, its body lefts off more and more sparks. All right. Um, yeah. Sorry, Minus. You're uh, not on the team. Sorry about that. My bad. Well, no, it's not my bad. It's your bad. You, you're not good. So let's see. Ooh, secret area. Another great ball. Not gonna argue, even though I bought way too many Pokeballs. It's all right, I'll save them for like the legendaries to make them more of a challenge. Ah, oh, Bunnelby, I wish I caught you earlier in the game. You can trade him for a Farfetch'd. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Learn from my mistakes. Throw Quick Ball to the face. Yeah, maybe I could be using a Quick Ball on slightly better Pokemon, but whatever. While I've got them, use them. You have no reason not to throw a Quick Ball unless you just really don't want a Pokemon. So broken. So beautiful. Still leveling up. Love that new feature. Charm, eh? I think it just decreases attack harshly. Okay. Well, we'll go harshly over the regularly decreasing defense and tail whip. Either way, I'm not super concerned. Woo. What's up, Doc? Uh, see, I could have given... Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> it's going to ask me for the nickname now. I'll give him a nickname just because it's really easy and there aren't other bunny Pokemon I'll have to worry about. Um, oops. <laughs> Let's try and use the bottom screen here. Also, I, I just had like this horrible realization. I'm like, is Bugs Bunny? Is it just one G? Is it two Gs? Like, Bugs? Uh, one G looks right. Could be wrong. Don't care. Trading you for a far-fetched later. I think it's just like that. Bugs. He bugs me. We'll see. Off I go. The only thing I don't like is when you switch between the shoes and the roller skates, your bottom screen flashes for some reason. Oh, it drives me nuts. All right, who's eating the quick ball? Who's eating it? Panchan! I kind of like you. New guy, dark fighting. Kung Fu Panda. 
Kung Fu Quick Ball to the face. Mm. One, two, three. Quick Ball is broken. So good. And I've got the perfect nickname for you, whether or not I use you. This is not going to be original, though. I guarantee other people have done this one. It can't help grinning if anyone pats its head. Trying to be a tough guy? I know your weakness. Just pat your head. Too easy. Too easy of a nickname. If I remember how to spell. Jack Black for Kung Fu Panda. Where is the K? I keep expecting the bottom screen to be a QWERTY and it's not. Oh, I really want Jack Black on my team. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's very easy to level up a new guy. So there's that. And another fur fru Get out of my face. Do not want to play with you. I already said I'm running if you're not someone I have already. You can get plenty of experience, both capturing and battling. Oh, hey friends, how's it going? My goodness, Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. Yeah, they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, Tierno, do you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm spinning around like an idiot. Talks about the Pokemon Move Swords Dance, which is really good. Oh! You want some sweet moves? I'll show you some sweet moves. I love how when you battle him, it specifically zooms in on his uh, ice cream shirt. Kind of love it. And he's got a corefish. Because why not? Because apparently corefish is a wonderful dancer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the sleek powder right on him. Voided the attack. Making me look like an idiot Bulbasaur. All right, Bulba, let's try that again. Come on, don't fail me now. Beautiful. I love how it shoots out of his little bulb. It's beautiful. It's a lot better than um, Vine Whip, which makes me really sad. Whenever you use Vine Whip, he doesn't move at all. It just shows the animation. Some Pokemon will like move with it. Vine Whip is a disappointment. Oh, pff, woke up after one turn. So effectively making my choice to use Sleep Powder completely useless. That's good. Quick Claw owned by the Quick Claw. Didn't really matter either way. Eat it up. Eat up that experience. Level 16. Oh, level 16 already? <laughs> I love how fast paced this game is. Fletchling level 16. Fletchling wants to learn flail. It's really not good. It's like how much HP you have left. I mean, as a last ditch effort though, I'll forget uh, Growl. You will never see me use Growl for the rest of these playthroughs. It's just not feasible everyone gets a level lucky chant tierno destroyed that was some nice footwork but you know what's nicer than footwork Ooh, man i like just got you an episode or two ago two episodes ago and you're already evolving my heart wasn't ready for this but my body is. My little Deku. I already got a beautiful flower. Every stage, every evolution, we got more flowers. He evolves, flower blooms. Mega evolves, flower on his face. Here, Trips, coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream after all. I was born to dance. I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this. That is indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should show just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. It's good to be serious about some things. Do I battle you as well? Oh, nope. I get honey, which gives me horde battles. I'm going to save that for a very special occasion. Oh, we're getting there. We are certainly getting there. So I'm just checking down. Is there an item anywhere? Nope. Down this patch of grass doesn't really look like there's a reason to go down. So now seems like another good stopping point. I know some people really want longer episodes, but 15 to 20 minutes just seems like the right amount for me. Any longer, they take forever to make, forever to upload. So 
as always, I will see you guys again tomorrow with another episode using my brand new Ivysaur.